Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can easily uh, switch between document libraries in SharePoint. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So when you create a new site in SharePoint, uh, just like the one I have here, I have this uh, human resources team site, uh, you always get one document library by default. That's where the document is stored. And, you know, typically you can access this library, um, you know, just by, you know, clicking on the documents, you know, on the uh, left hand side navigation, for example, or on see all and, you know, essentially access the documents. But what if you have multiple libraries, right? A libraries are just like file and cabinets. These are just ways for you to um, to really upload documents. For example, let's say I want to. I'll create a library for resumes, right? Uh, that I want to store on my on my site. Here we go. I just created another library. How do we easily switch uh, back and forth? Now, um, unless maybe you added this to navigation somewhere, right? Uh, there is really no easy way to switch. In the past, we used to go to uh, gear icon, site contents, and this is where you would see all the different libraries that exist uh, on your site. Uh, luckily, we have a different way um, uh, to switch between libraries. Uh, this is a new feature that we now have in SharePoint Online. And let me show you how to easily switch between libraries. Uh, next to the library, as you can see, I access this documents uh, library, which is a default library created. Uh, there is this uh, little drop down that appears. And look, when I click on it, it allows me to switch to any other library I have on my uh, on my site. So it doesn't matter whether I built uh, the link to uh, navigation or not. Uh, I really don't need to go to gear icon site contents. I can just easily, you know, click on a specific, uh, you know, library and essentially access, um, you know, access uh, the uh, library that way uh, quite easily. Uh, very important to note, uh, it only shows you the document libraries, right? If I go behind the scenes and um, you know, you will see more than just document libraries. You will see the site pages library, which is a library for pages. It's only going to show you the libraries, not lists, not site pages, but just the libraries where you store uh, documents. So this is one of the places where you can uh, switch between document libraries. Let me show you another one. If you navigate to your OneDrive, which is essentially your personal repository in the cloud, of course, I see my personal files on here, files and folders. On the left hand side, you would see all the different sites that uh, you have access to. And look at this. Here's my HR team site here, all right, as well. And uh, look what happens. By default, it loads the uh, default document library. And it shows me the contents of that library uh, right from within my OneDrive. But look at this. I have the same, um, you know, uh, ability to switch between different libraries. All right, right here. So again, I can just easily switch uh, between different libraries uh, right in here, right from the convenience of OneDrive. So we have this um, um, ability to switch in two places in SharePoint itself at the library level and then in OneDrive. All right, from the convenience of OneDrive, uh, I can access my SharePoint libraries as well. Uh, we have the same exact uh, drop down here as well. So very, very convenient uh, as you have multiple libraries, which is not unusual uh, on a given site, you can easily switch between them uh, with this, uh, with this uh, little drop down. Uh, very important to note is that if you set up a unique security on any of those libraries, let's say maybe I created unique security on invoices, and certain people don't have access to the library, they're not going to see it in the in this drop down, right? So it's all permission driven. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you in this quick videos. Hopefully you learned something new as always. Happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.